Does your goat like to kick on the milk stand? This method might help you out. That's coming up next. So this is Roca. She's my favorite goat that we have. She's just really pretty, good milker, or gives a lot of milk, and uh, it just has a, a really cute personality. Uh, her one flaw is that she's not the best milker on the milk stand, uh, and she actually got worse this year than last year. Um, last year she would kind of lean away from you and, and didn't really like you milking her this year. She kind of did the same thing, um, but her main issue, she can stand pretty well during the main milking, but as soon as you start bumping her udder uh, to dry her out and get those last few squeezes, uh, this year she'd just start flinging and kicking her legs, even with them being tied. Sometimes she would still kick the bowl over, and uh, she would actually scream. It was the weirdest thing. She would actually like scream or yell before she'd actually kick. Um, we're not sure what was going on with that, but uh, then my husband was watching a documentary and they noticed there was a cow that they had hobbled uh, on the back legs and wasn't kicking or anything. And we hadn't really seen that before. Uh, even looking it up, it doesn't look like it's common for people to hobble their goats. Um, you mainly will see their legs tied back. Uh, but I'm going to show you some clips here of how we were milking her and then her with the hobbles and uh, show you how that goes. Um, it, it definitely worked for her and uh, so I, I don't know that it works for everybody but we'll show you that next and show you how it works. Okay, so here you've got my husband milking Roca, and uh, this is how we did tie her up. And like I was saying, she likes to lean uh, against the leash. She can put her foot down. She chooses to lean away and uh, that just uh, pulls on that leash there. Uh, last year, we only had to have that leash on her foot. It's this year that we had her right leg also tied back uh, so that she can't kick the pan, even though sometimes she would still snag it and, and tip it over. But her little routine this way is she'd be chewing her cud just fine. Uh, I, I don't know if you've heard from my other video, but we don't do grain anymore just because my husband couldn't stand them screaming uh, around milking time to get their grain, so we stopped doing that. Um, so she'll just chew her cud, and then when he starts popping her udder, then that's where you'll see her give a little kick. And you know, she's behaving for this video clip. Uh, she's not at her worst because I'm around, and she tends to behave a little bit differently when I'm around. But um, she, she'll she uh, give a little kick, uh, and then she'll scream sometimes, and... It just wasn't very fun to milk her. But since hobbling her, uh, I'll show you right now, It's uh, it's been much better. So what we do to hobble her is uh, all you do is take a cheap slip leash and just weave it in and out of your legs and then uh, just tie it off. And simple as that for her, she didn't try to kick her, her uh, go against it in any way. Uh, in the beginning, she'd kind of shuffle her legs up and down to see if she could maybe shift them off. Um, but she just milks perfectly well now. She still does the whole choose her cud, and then when he starts getting towards the end, she swallows it and just stands real still. Um, you can tell that she's just pissed that she can't figure how to get her way and, uh, kick the milk over but uh, and then all you do when you're finished is undo the slip leash and it's all good. 
So the goat hobbles I bought have arrived, and now that they're here, looking at them, you would think I got them from an inappropriate store. But uh, I actually bought them on Amazon as goat hobbles, and uh, they were the only ones that looked like they would possibly fit a Nigerian dwarf goat, because all the other ones seem to have reviews saying it's not going to fit your mini goat uh, and such, so but they hook on right there. I can get it one tighter and I think it should work. Um, but I think they're gonna be too far apart. So I think what I'm going to do is finagle these around a bit. like that and hopefully that's close enough together that they will fit so we will try come milking time and see how they work if they don't then i guess we'll go back to the the simple slip leash that we were doing to wrap around her legs so the hobbles were a big fat fail, even though they look awesome, uh, they slipped right off of her ankles. So we will be sticking with the simple, cheap little 10 cent slip leash. It's five times quicker to put on and off anyway, so uh, this works perfectly for her, so this is what we're going to continue to do. So hopefully this video helps uh, some of you guys out. Like I said, Roka's not the worst goat I've seen on the milk stand and this simple trick uh, fixed her. Um, a tip I would have if you're having trouble with it is just try tying their hocks closer together. I figure the closer together they are, the harder it's going to be for your goat to uh, try and kick and be a troublemaker. So. But, yeah, hope that helps you guys out, and we'll see you next time.